Hey y'all, I'm coming to do a just a quick rant on something I saw on Facebook this morning. But my thoughts on this cover, um, this LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil that I got yesterday from Dollar Tree. No, from Dollar General, sorry. First of all, this rant has to do with makeup. Um, my number one pet peeve with um, foundation is Foundation should enhance your look. I have on no lotion, nothing. The only thing I have on my face is my eyeshadow and my um, Carmex on my lips. So if you go back and you look at um, like the video I did yesterday with full face makeup on and come back and look at this one real quick, you won't notice a, a big difference because I use uh, MAC Studio Tech NC50. I have used that, that foundation for five plus years that is the only and it matches my skin complexion perfectly that was recommended to me by two different licensed makeup artists years ago when I first got into makeup um the first one she just told me the color she told me what color to get you know she said you need because I, I told her I'm like I, I'm trying cover girl and keep in mind y'all this was years ago before you know it became you know the norm for women of color to also wear makeup so a lot of um the manufacturers they really weren't making like the variety now that they have the different shades to try to match to our complexions yeah they didn't want like that so i told her i'm like I'm, i've tried cover girl i've tried this i've tried that and nothing is working um because you know i love my complexion i wanted to just you know i want i, I like my makeup just to like you know even me out you know what i'm saying just even out my complexion if i have some blemishes here because to me that is the purpose of makeup makeup is supposed to even you out you're not supposed to put on makeup and a foundation and if i take it off y'all looking at me like well, who who is this like you know so that you know so she told me when i was telling her that all the other cover girls all those mind y'all this was years ago um you know so I know now they have more um, tones you know to try to match but I ain't using them I'm sticking to my Mac she told me you know Mac she looked at me and said you will be an NC50 when I went to purchase it a second licensed uh, makeup artist you know she was telling me you know about the differences and I was telling her you know my face not oily da, 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 da. so she had me to do the because um, I have dry skin this Mac Studio tape because it has more of a cream um, finish and it's more moisturizing. Okay, so yeah, I I have stuck to that. I will always stick to that. My number one pet peeve, however, is women who, if you wear foundation, I feel like your foundation you should get foundation that is your actual complexion. You shouldn't go, y'all, this is my opinion. I know it is kind of sort of the norm for some odd reason in some circles to where you are a chocolate brown, but you purposely buy your foundation and the lightest brown you can get so that when you go to the club, your face looks really, really high yellow brown, but the rest of you looks chocolate brown. Like, yeah, y'all, I can't. And this girl that um that I know who recently went to cosmetology school and I think she's trying to get her license to do hair and um yeah this is just broke while I'm sitting up here talking. Um she is calling herself a hair guru, a makeup guru. Y'all I've never said said, you know, a makeup guru or nothing like that. But y'all, her she's like maybe four shades darker than me. I mean, she's way darker than me. But y'all, today she posted a picture on Facebook of like from here up. On the picture, she had her chest and her hand was one complexion. Her face was lighter than my face. Even my husband who knows nothing about makeup, who just uses common sense, said that don't look good. Because it doesn't. So yeah, y'all, that's that is really a huge pet peeve that I have. Um yeah. So y'all, this is my first 
review of this and it will be my last because I am taking I'm taking back the green one that I got that broke also and now it looks like I'm gonna take these, this one back also okay so my thoughts what I did was so I, I mean I'm just still gonna review it for the purpose of the review this I had I put you know put this on both eyes and then I went to put on the color and I was like wait a minute this looks really good this is giving my you know my Maybelline cover stick a run for its money so I took this eye off completely and start fresh with the Maybelline cover stick in white now I'm using I, the, I tried to find the palette that I referenced in my video yesterday y'all I, I guess I confirmed today that I did give it to my best friend when we were moving here because I could not find it I did however find this palette which was put up I, I have no idea why it was put under some stuff I don't think I meant to do it um, so these are the three colors that I use I use this black for the bottom the base I use this black as like a transit no black sorry purple um, this purple as like a um, transition and this purple as a highlight okay now like I said when I when I did not have a side-by-side -side comparison of these two um, you know I was like um, I didn't have a side-by-side -side comparison of the two so I was like huh, I don't know maybe this is good now y'all this is my opinion okay I'm so if you have never tried a cover stick maybe you will be blown away by this i wasn't because i have used this for so many years and i can clearly see the difference um i you know my husband came home for, for lunch which he does every day um and because you know we live here on post so he comes home um, every day for lunch and i had him to look at it and he said yes he can see the difference i'm not sure how the if the difference picks up um on camera i'm just going to come close really quick I'm gonna close my eyes. Like I said, I these are just you know this is everything I don't have on nothing uh, except for my you know eyeshadows. Now this eye is the LA Colors eye. Even though I did everything the exact same way, I used the same brush. That way, I didn't want it to be any kind of way that it can possibly be. You know, well maybe that's what was different. So I used this Elf um, eyeshadow brush. So everything is the same. I applied it the same. This time, um, instead of just putting it and swiping, I pat it. You know, I, I applied it this time like this. I got it and I, you know, took my time and patted it on, pushing it into the skin, which helps it pop. Okay. Which, for me, like if I'm going, like if I really want a bold eye, I will pat in. If I if I don't, like when I went to church yesterday, you know, I don't want like as bold an eye, so I apply it different. Even though I still white it out, depending on how you apply it, um, the eyeshadow, it does make a difference. Okay, but like I said, I applied the same way on both eyes. The huge complaints with this is the, when, first of all, when I took this eye off, um, when I had the um, LA Co Colors Jumbos, I used my little um, eye makeup remover that I got yesterday. And this this was hard to come off. My Maybelline, it comes right on off. Because my the Maybelline, it is creamier than this. And it comes right on off. This, it was kind of hard. So I was like, oh, that's already strike, strike number one. Number two, the colors. Now, like I said, I don't know if it shows up really good on camera. But in person, you really tell the difference. This eye, the purple, it almost looks like a a purple, like a blue purple or something. It, it's not the true, like it. this uh, jumbo that to me, the LA Colors Jumbo Pencil, it distorts the color a little bit. Um, and see, if you actually look at this, that is the color, okay? Now look at it here. It's not the exact same. It doesn't. It doesn't reflect the same. But look at it on this eye. I'm not sure how it's looking on. You know, because it's lighting. But y'all, it is the exact match to this. All three of these colors on this eye is the exact match. So yeah, the color. It didn't. It doesn't look the same. You know. So on this eye. So, yeah, y'all, I'm sitting here just minding my business. Another complaint that I had with this is, like I said, this one, 
I've had for, for almost six years. Um, it is like a, you know, like a lipstick, um, you know, push up, but you know, it broke, like it got, it has a crack in it. It broke and the, 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 um, the tip of it broke off in here years ago, but all I did, you know, was just dip the end of my, um, foundation with my, um, brushes in and scoop around and dip in here and keep it moving. This is not push up, but I did see somebody on do a video on YouTube saying that you can sharpen this because it, it, you know, it is more down in here. They said you can sharpen it just like, even though this is plastic, they said you can sharpen this just like a, um, a regular eye pencil. Yeah. Um, I guess, you know, if you got time for that. I, I don't. Um, so yeah, I will be taking this back. Um, Probably Wednesday when we go to the Bible study when I take. Sorry, y'all. Sound like my husband coming home again. Maybe not. But yeah, y'all, that's just my thoughts. Um, like I said, this one, this palette, yeah, was a staple. Just like I always say with the elves. Um, if you can't open it, just look at it. For the most part. It's only like, I would say it's only like two two colors, really one, that main color right there. But I feel like it looks different on the, the, the color on the front. It looks different on the front. It makes it look like it's more reddish orange. But on here, or like a brown orange on here, yeah, it doesn't, it's not the exact same. But y'all, that's just my thoughts. Uh, like I said, if you have never... Um, you know try like this kind of cover stick um you know and all you have tried is you know this it may work perfectly for you um because as you can see you know i am you know an african-american well you know a brown woman an african-american woman a woman of color and my eye you know my eyeshadow um pops it, it shows um yeah I, I watch a lot of people's videos uh, i don't know some people white out their eyes some people don't um I cannot find the lady anymore, but when I first got into makeup about five years ago, it was this one lady on YouTube who her eyeshadow, y'all, was ridiculous. Like, I had never, because I started searching for her, because it wasn't as popular as it is now for women of color to wear makeup, like, you know, like women are wearing now. So I just started searching for um, African American eyeshadow tutorials and stuff like that. And I ran across her channel years ago. Um, and she is the one who told me to get just a regular cover stick and call it a day. And that's what I have stuck to. So, yeah. Unfortunately, I will be taking this back. Um, yeah, what I think I'm going to get, they had a, like a, a little LA Colors um, palette. Eyeshadow palette with, with this blue color. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to get that because the only blue, like blue, blue that I had, um, that I actually like, um, was on the little palette that I showed yesterday and y'all, you could tell on that which colors I used over and over again, but y'all, that's just my little video today, giving my honest opinion of this. Um, like I said, I will be taking, I put it back in this bag and close it up with the receipt so I wouldn't lose it. But I will be taking this white one and this green one back. Yeah, the green one broke also. And I do not like, I mean, I don't like this glitter. And so since both of these were $1.50, uh, I'm just going to take it back and get um, get a palette. I think the palettes was uh, a dollar, maybe $2. But either way, I can switch them out. If, if they're $2, I'll just switch them out and just get the change. Um, if they're a dollar, then I might try to get more than one palette. But y'all, I do thank y'all for watching.